All right, so today we're shaking things up. We're getting out of the house and we're heading down to the city to do some shopping. Um, yeah, so we're gonna hit, of course, all the shops up on like Oak and Rush. And then Zane found a list of like vintage stores to check out. So yeah, we're just gonna take you guys with us. It's gonna be a chill day, chill vibes only. And yeah. So before we get started though, bag of the day. The Hacker Project, of course. I mean, it's supposed to kind of be a little drizzly today, so coated canvas for the win. But yeah, come on. But first, I am starving, so we're going to hit our favorite restaurant. All right, we'll show you what we get. So now that we've eaten, I'm ready to do some shopping. And the garage that we parked in, if you shop at the 900 shops, they validate your parking. So I kind of, it's a good excuse to buy a new Gucci bag, right? Free parking, maybe? Is that a stretch? What do you think? No. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Just love Neiman Marcus. I bought some Balenciaga ready to wear, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, it's a lot muggier than I thought it was gonna be, so I'm kind of disappointed in what I chose to wear today, but it is what it is. I'm dedicated. So next we're gonna head down to Nordstrom and see what they have on sale. So, so far I've got a Balenciaga sweater and a t-shirt and a smoothie. No problem with that. No shame. No, no shame. Of course, once again, Zane hasn't bought anything. I didn't see anything. It's I, always the well, same I did like those Prada shoes, but I don't so, like spending over $500. So he found some shoes at Prada that he liked, but he has a price threshold of $500. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Or ish. Or ish, I guess. So. He didn't buy them. So yeah, we're just gonna walk around the city. We had planned on doing some like thrifting um, downtown, across town. It's too late. It's 
It's a Sunday and everything closes at six. So. Yeah, everything closes in like an hour's play time. We got the car out of the garage, got there. It's pointless. So I might end here and then just show you guys what I get when I get home. It's yeah. not much. It's not much, it's like two shirts. So really short vlog. I'm trying to practice vlogging more. Um, I don't know, I say I'm a lot. I don't, I don't like filming in public just yet. Um, 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 um. thanks. All right, so we're done shopping. We're in the car now. I was falling asleep inside Bloomingdale's. Fun story, remember earlier when I mentioned like, oh, I should buy a Gucci bag so I can validate parking. I didn't buy a Gucci bag, but I did pick up some Chanel lip balm at Bloomingdale's just like, oh, hey, let me uh, validate my parking and I'm gonna pay 40 bucks on parking anyway. I might as well buy what I need. Fun fact, didn't read the fine print and that's only valid if you're parked there for three hours or less. So that was fun. Anyway, we're headed home. I'm kind of hungry. Not very exciting, yeah. but I'm very tired, so I'm ready to go home, chill out. I'll show you guys what I got, and that's that. All right, guys, so now that I'm home, I can finally share with you what I got, so let's dive in. All right, now, full disclosure, I filmed all of this last night. I found out I left the air conditioning running, so you can hear that in the background, which is kind of not great, and also, I, I'm worried that my microphone's going out. I wanted to reshoot all this because I'm not trying to put out a bad product, obviously, so if the audio is still off, <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to buy a new mic. There's that. I'm gonna film this now. It's like 1.30 in the morning and I work tomorrow. So I'm just gonna try and plow through this and then this will go up on Sunday. I know this is supposed to be Wednesday's video, so I do apologize, but let's get into it. We're gonna start with the smallest and work our way up. And I have a surprise LV reveal. It's not only an unboxing, but a reveal for you guys. Let's start out with the little brown bag from Bloomingdale's. I am so glad that I did not waste my money buying a Gucci bag just to validate my parking because we ended up being parked there way too long and I had to pay the full price anyway, regardless of having bought two things at Bloomingdale's that I didn't necessarily need right away. So here we are. So what did I get you, Ask? Well, I'm so glad you're curious, love that about you. I picked up, and it fell out of the tissue paper already, cool. I picked up two of the Chanel Rouge Coco Bomb, their chapstick. I absolutely love this stuff. I buy the 912 Dreamy White. It's a hydrating, beautifying, tinted lip balm with buildable color. Love that for me. I buy these in twos because whenever I want to buy them, like whenever I need to buy one, they're out of stock. When I start, you know, I buy them in packs of two. When my second one, I start using that for a few weeks, I automatically just buy two more because it never fails. If I don't, I run out and then they can't get them in stock anymore. So for two of these, I think I paid $92.61 with tax, another $40 in parking because I couldn't validate. <sighs> Love that for me. Now this next item from Nordstrom, Everyone's talking about the Nordstrom sale. I didn't really buy anything on sale. I just kept going in and buying full price items. Again, love that for me. I'm not a very good sale shopper, apparently. Normally I am, but I really bombed this year. Zane kind of made fun of me because I way overpaid. And it's, it's very reminiscent of something that you would find at like a Goodwill for like five bucks. And I paid like 90 after tax, so stupid. This t-shirt. Yeah, ninety three seventy one after tax. Like, I don't know why. Go into Nordstrom during the big anniversary sale and buy something full price. <laughs> okay. Anyway, the shirt was like low-key, super cute, and I kind of had to have it. And I know if I walked away, I'm, I'm too lazy to find it online and order it online. I just had to buy it then and there. I got this t-shirt. So this is from the brand Billionaire Boys Club. I never heard of them before. Anyway, it's just a rocket and it's kind of tacky. I thought it'd be fun under like a big, you know, like a flowy, like over shirt, kind of like this denim one. And it's super cute, quite honestly. Would I have knowingly paid $93? <laughs> No, I think I just loved it and was like, oh, okay, that's probably, you know, X amount in my head and didn't actually look at the tag. I do that once in a while. New t-shirt, love that for me. The piece de resistance of this little, it's not really a haul, it's not really a shopping spree, just kind of like I picked up a few things while we were in town. I got this, I got on sale. This was an amazing deal. So before I settled on this sweater, you already saw it in the try on haul, but I'll get it out of the bag here for you in a minute. They had a really cool, it was like a short sleeve shearling sweater from Fendi. Amazing, I think it was marked down to like 400. I carried that thing around the store. Like I did like four laps, had that in my arm. I had another shirt in my arm, but then I saw this and I had to have it. So this sweater, it's just amazing. So this is from 
Balenciaga. This is, believe it or not, my first piece of Balenciaga ready-to-wear, and it's just from Balenciaga Unfit. I'm not really well-versed in their clothing lines, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research, but Zane was talking to the SA while I was in the fitting room, and this is a size medium. Like, is it as baggy as I would love it to be? I mean, no, not yet. I'm working on it. I have started my diet journey, but the guy at the counter said that a lot of, like, the NBA players in town and NFL players will come in and buy Balenciaga ready-to-wear. I'm six foot seven, and not as fit as I used to be. We'll just say that. And this fit, amazing. Unlike the extra large Casablanca sweater from my last little fail haul. Guys, the deal I got on this sweater is absolutely amazing. So this was originally priced at $1,150. I was able to get it for $287 before tax. I mean, hello. So the money that I saved on this justifies overspending to validate parking that didn't happen and a $100 t-shirt from some anonymous brand, right? You would think maybe in my crazy Rube Goldberg mind, I guess. I don't know. What did I pay with tax? You're so curious. I love that about you. $3.21.42 for a beautiful wool sweater. It's not itchy like that coach one I showed you guys. It actually fits unlike the Casablanca one I showed you guys. I finally on this channel have purchased a great sweater. I mean, I've purchased a lot of good sweaters, but this one, I mean, hello, Balenciaga. It's fabulous. It's everything. And imagine this with my gray city bag. Hmm. I am coming for you winter. Ooh, I have those black leather pants that this would look good. Okay, I'm building an outfit in my mind and it's a vibe and I cannot wait to shoot it for Instagram. Follow me over there, caleb.snell.designer. As promised, I have a small LV unboxing for you guys, well, reveal more or less for you guys. I originally shared this over on my Instagram, again, caleb.snell.designer. It's just too fabulous not to share here on YouTube. So let me get this set up and then I'll share it with you guys real quick. All right, so now it is time for the reveal of my new LV Objet du Art, I suppose. So this box, if it looks familiar, amazing. If not, let me explain. So I shared this over my Instagram as kind of like a sneak peek video when it came in. This item was originally a VIP gift for, I, I wanna say New Year's or a celebration for 2020. This still retails for nearly a thousand on like Fashion File, eBay and whatnot. Zane found this on Shop Goodwill and I think we paid literally $400, maybe including shipping probably less, which is insane that someone would donate this in the first place because it is so beautiful. Anyway, I've talked about it enough. Let me open up and show you guys. It's a vibe. Okay, here we go. And what's so cute with this, it comes with the original mooncakes in the bottom. They're individually plastic sealed, so I think I might just keep them in there. They actually still look like they're in pretty decent shape, believe it or not. I'm not going to get them out for you right now because it's too much. Has all four original mooncakes. Vivian there in the center just dances to that beautiful melody. And look at those paper lanterns in the background. Like this is a stunning piece. So of course this sits on my dresser behind all my fragrances and jewelry and it's a vibe. I am so glad that Zane found this and even happier that we got it for the deal we did. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys. All right, so that was my little mini haul. Now I did want to share with you guys that Zane actually bought something on this trip. How many shopping trips have we gone on and Zane didn't buy anything? I think like the most exciting thing that he's revealed on this channel is his green nylon Prada bag from when we went to La Roca Village in Spain. So it doesn't happen often, but he picked up a hoodie from Sandro at Bloomingdale's. Super cute, bubblegum pink. It looked really cute on him. I'm low-key jealous. That was today's mini haul. Again, so sorry this did not go out on Wednesday as planned. I am still working on the Q&A. A lot of you wrote, wrote in with questions, which is amazing, but I want to make sure I do it justice. So I'm trying to organize it and I'm trying to decide if it's a one episode, two episode kind of thing. So we have that coming up in a few weeks. We have my Chanel journey. I'm going to drop a video about that where we're going to talk about the different styles I'm liking, pros and cons, price points, all of that. We're going to start embarking on the Chanel journey. I also, low-key, incredibly excited about this, have a Fendi unboxing for you guys on Wednesday. Uh-huh, another Fendi bag. Is it a peekaboo? I don't know. You're gonna have to come back on Wednesday and find out. All right, guys, so that was today's video. We went into the city. We did some shopping. You saw some LV that I got thrifted. I talked about my upcoming videos. It's kind of a rambly video. Again, if the audio on this part portion of the video is bad, 
I'm guessing my microphones are going out. I'm just going to buy a new set. That's exciting. Love that for me. I'm going to leave it there. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time. Follow me on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. Hit subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Say hi in the comments. You know the drill. I love chatting with you guys, so let's keep that conversation going. And until Wednesday, when I share a very, very special new Fendi bag, I hope you guys have fun. Stay safe, and I will see you all on Wednesday. All right, guys. Bye-bye.